Hi, welcome to Tech Bytes with Hef. Today, what I want to share with you is how I go about getting graphics for my virtual classroom. Take a look over here at my homepage for my virtual classroom. You'll notice that I have a gymnasium as my background image. I have vector graphics like the radio that's there. I also have GIFs. Those are the little jumping heart or the arrow at the start button. I also have um, what look like documents as the posters for the academic vocabulary that you see in the background. Then there's the Animoji of me, um, the short video speaking as the teacher. And then there are some Bitmojis. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do the background image, where I get the vectors, graphics, the GIFs, and the documents that I use as posters. Okay, let's get started. My favorite place for graphics is pixabay.com. Take a look at it here. When you open up Pixabay, you're gonna see a search bar. Simply type what you're looking for in the search bar. I'm typing gymnasium for a background image for my virtual classroom. You're gonna start scrolling through all the pictures to find something that could work for you. There's a lot of different images. A lot of them don't look like they might work for me, but I think I'll take this black and white gymnasium photo right here. I click on it and then just scroll up to download it. Pretty simple, huh? These images are completely free and you can use them however you want, even commercially. Now I want to find an image that doesn't have a background. That's called a vector graphic. So I'm going to click on vector graphic for a runner. I'm going to type in runner. Then the same thing. I'm just going to start scrolling down until I find a runner that fits my needs. Now I can put this run runner in my virtual classroom and it will be in my gymnasium with no background. See? Now this image will be used to link to part of my assignment. Pretty simple, huh? That's pixabay.com. Let's move on to our next source. The next resource is animatedimages.org. Just like Pixabay, there is a search bar for you to type in what you're looking for. I'm going to type in the word run. I'm looking for runners, so I'm going to type on running animated images and GIFs, and then scroll down to see what I want to choose. There's quite a few here, and you'll see that there's at least three pages of GIFs that I can go through, and then similar categories displayed at the bottom. I'm going to choose one at the top here. I'll click on it and then scroll down and there she is. And then I just have to download her. Pretty simple. Let's move on. The final share is how to take a document and change it into an image so that you can create a poster for your um, virtual classroom to link to your lesson. So I'm going to use Open Phys Ed to demonstrate this. Uh, that's openphyzed.org. And so when I go on their site, I'm going to click on Curriculum Resources. And from there in the drop down menu, I'm going to take Physical Education and Grades 3 to 5. I'm going to go to their Fitness Knowledge uh, lesson and then um, Module. And I'm going to look at the Academic Language Cards and pull up the PDF you'll see that there's the poster I used on my wall, and I'm gonna uh, take a screenshot. From the screenshot, I'll just crop it, pulling the corners up, and save it. And now I have a poster to use in my virtual classroom. All pretty simple, right? Hope you enjoyed this edition of Tech with Hef, and I'll see you next time.